the set tutorial for the crazy tetrahedron Venus. And for this one, there's two solid sides. One side with a circle that moves with the outer edges, and one side with a circle that moves separately. So this one, it's pretty... It's actually kind of difficult to mix, just because there's two sides that are solid without the circles. And the only side where you can actually mix it, mix the inner and outer edge pieces and corner pieces is the orange side, obviously, because that's the only side that turns like that. Okay, so now it's pretty much mixed. And for this one, the first thing you want to do is to reduce everything. So you have to get all the edge pieces first and by putting them onto the orange side. And then you also have to make sure these corners are in the right spot. For this one, the simplest thing to do is to make sure you don't turn the orange side. But take a corner piece like this one, and if it goes straight down like that, I'm going to do R inverted, L, R, L inverted, or something like that. It doesn't always work, but in this case it did. So that's the quickest way to solve that corner problem. But just in case it doesn't work, I have another algorithm for that, which I'll show you later. So now just match up as many as you can. Now I'm going to get the corners again, to do the same thing as before. This time it didn't work, just do it a couple more times just in case. And then try another side. And this one worked. So now I can do that, and I've reduced all of them. Okay, so now I just want to get all the edges here. And this part should be pretty simple. You just want to get all the edges into the correct spot. Just making sure you don't turn the orange anymore after you've gotten these three. So that you don't mess up the inner circles. Okay, so when you get to a position like this, you're just going to do something like R, L inverted, R inverted, L, or the opposite. L inverted, R, L are inverted. And when you get to here, you can you need to put this one here. So to do that, you take this out, you move it over, and you match it up. So now you have all the edges in the correct spot. And now you want to reduce the corners. And first look around to see which corners are actually messed up. There's only this one and this one that are actually messed up. So ju I just want to make sure that both of these pieces at least are on the orange side. So I'm going to do the same move as before L R inverted L inverted R and in this case it didn't flip this around but I have both unsolved sides on the orange side. So without moving without doing that same algorithm so I don't mess up these anymore I'm going to rotate this one. This one I'll turn clockwise because it has an orange side which can be used to turn the orange side. So this one will have to turn clockwise, and for this algorithm, the, uh, the piece adjacent to it, so this piece, has to turn the opposite direction. So this is going clockwise, this has to go counterclockwise, but since I don't want to mess this up, I'm going to put this other piece I don't, I'm not concerning with next to it. Now from here, make sure you don't use the orange side, so put that on the bottom. This side will be L, and this side will be R. To turn this clockwise, I'm going to do L inverted, R, L, R inverted three times. And then L, R inverted, L inverted, R three times. 
and then put things back as it was. Now just match this up and all the corners are reduced. And before, this was actually in the correct spot, but because of something else, uh, something I did in between, it got kind of messed up. But you can just fix this quickly, the same as before. And these are all solved. Now I'm going to move this one back here. But to do that, I need to have all orange pieces on this side, so that none of these centers get messed up again. And so that none of the blues are on here. So I need to bring this one down to here and for this algorithm I'm going to switch these two and it also switches these two at the same time. So the algorithm for that is going to be R inverted L R L inverted three times. And that swaps them. Now I just have to rotate these corners. And this one goes clockwise, this one also goes clockwise, and this one also goes clockwise. But the same, using the same algorithm as I used before, one of them turns clockwise, the other turns counterclockwise, or vice versa. So here I'm going to use the same algorithm as before. I'm going to do L inverted, R, L, R inverted three times. And then L, R inverted. L inverted R three times. So that solves one of them. And I have to do the same thing here. So this will turn counterclockwise, this will turn clockwise, and the orange will be complete. But this is exact opposite as what I did before. Before this one turned clockwise, this one turned counterclockwise, but now I have to do the exact opposite. So instead of starting with L inverted, I'm going to start with L. So it's going to be L, R inverted, L inverted, R three times. And then L inverted, R, L, R inverted, three times. Now I can move this over. And now I want to put all the corners into the correct spot. But as you can see, these three are not in the right spot, and this one is. For this algorithm, I have to have all of them messed up. So to avoid this kind of problem, you want to just make sure that you don't turn the orange side. So just put a finger on the orange, I guess. And from here, you're going to do keep three corners on the front and make sure that those don't go away. You're going to do R, U, L, R, U, L, R, U, L. R. And check around. And now none of them are in the correct spot. Sometimes this doesn't work, but you just have to do it one more time and it should work. So now they're all in the incorrect position. Now I just want to see where each one goes. where Which one it has to swap with. So this one has to come here, and at the same time this will come up here. This one comes over here, and at the same time this comes over here. And I can just use the same algorithm I used earlier to swap these. So I'm going to do R inverted, L, R, L inverted three times. And now they're all in the correct position. And in this, in this, in this case, these two automatically rotate into the correct position. But these two haven't. So now I'm going to rotate these using the same algorithm as earlier. This one will go counterclockwise, this one will go clockwise. So, they have to be adjacent to each other, so one here, one here. So I'm going to move this down here. This will go counterclockwise, so I'm, going to, so I'm going to start with L, R inverted, L inverted, R three times. And then L inverted, R, L, R inverted three times. That's how I saw the crazy tetrahedron Venus. Thank you for watching.